Hey, what's going on guys? B Land here doing a Mario Kart Tour video. This is the first time I'm playing this game and I'm gonna hop into this game and see what it's all about. I'm really, really excited to see, you know, what Mario Kart Tour is all about. All right, you must link your Nintendo account if you wanna play Mario Kart Tour. Sure, I'll totally do that. Okay, agree. Please. Woo, I got it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the volume. Loud. All right, you're ready to race. Now go turn up that track. I'm gonna turn it up again. Okay, welcome to Mario Kart Tour. First things first, let's fire off the pipe and get a driver. All right. Pull down to fire. Here we go. Pauline. Let's get Pauline. Ah, oh, Toad. Of course. Of course it's Toad. If you lift your finger off the screen, you'll move forward following the course. That's right. Okay, we're just getting right into it. We're learning the basic controls. This game looks good, man. All right, so we got two control methods. Simple, uh, slide your finger left or right to steer, and drift. Slide your finger left or right to drift. So basically, this is just like Mario Kart Wii, where they had automatic and manual drift. And I am, I'm, I'm honestly very good at Mario Kart, so I'm obviously I'm gonna go for drift here. Slide left or right to steer, and use an up or down to use items. All right, got it. All right, rocket start. I know to hold down for that. Move left and right. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, you have to let go. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, whoa. All right, I gotta get the use of the Dripping close. I'm gonna have to get used to the dripping though. This game looks really, really nice though. I know that the mobile devices in general, um, they're capable of like having some really, really good looking games. It's looking super sharp. All right. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's just like, it basically, you can move left or right. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, gonna get an item. Three item slots. Alright, so you can swipe down to throw it back, swipe forward, and just tap it. Okay. I hit Peach even though it was on track. Oh, wait. They just randomly showed up. Okay. Got mushrooms. Can I like tap a certain item to use now? It's like an, it's like in a certain order. Okay. Okay. All right. So total. So, okay. So characters do automatically do uh, jumps or tricks whenever they're off a ramp. You don't manually do it. Cause I was like, how do you actually do tricks in this game? And I, I didn't even know how. But uh, yeah, the characters just do it automatically. Easy money. Yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, woo! Ace that race first place. Heck yeah. Way to go. This calls for a celebration, and what better way to celebrate than firing something out of the pipe? Oh, yeah. Woo! Another, uh. Loot box type thing, I guess. All right, let's fire once again. I wonder if it's like fixed, like you're supposed to do something. Let's go. Peach, all right. With the heart power from Double Dash, this heart is overflowing with kindness. It will protect you from opponent's attacks. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Now buckle up and start your engines because Mario Kart Tour is about to kick off. Nice. Yeah, sure, you can definitely send me notifications. Sure, I'll go ahead and download the data. All right, so a few things to note. Um, I'm actually um, have a different setup. Um, turns out that whenever I record on my iPhone with uh, the mic turned on, um, it actually doesn't pick up the music. Um, so I had to change up my recording setup a little bit. And unfortunately, the New York Minute uh, gameplay that I have, it says complete. Um, I didn't actually, it didn't actually record for whatever reason, so. Um, I'm gonna actually redo it, and uh, and we're just gonna take it from there. Also, I unlock 100 CC as well. 100 CC is now available in this mode. The race, the, the race's speed is faster, and you'll face tougher opponents. All right. Go and press OK, and I'll just do the 50 CC one, um, and just treat it like it's my first time playing it, because I didn't get a chance to do it the first time. So far, from what I played, from the little that I did play, 
Um, it's kind of awkward with the manual drift because you can only do the drift hop. You can't turn normally. Um, so it's a bit weird um, in terms of that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this race here. All right. It feels good though. It's just kind of weird for it to always do the drift hop. Okay, I'm gonna get the uh, Ultra Mini Turbo here. That's a, definitely a, a good sharp uh, corner. Nice. All right. And uh, another thing, it's only... Oh, what the heck? That battle shell came out of nowhere. But it's only two laps. Um, normally in the Mario Kart games, it's three. But um, I wonder why the I wonder why that the developers went with only uh, two laps rather than uh, three. Very interesting decision. But I'm glad that I actually get to hear the music now, because before it was just sound effects. Music's very like fast-paced and wild, and it's I guess it's it matches with the hustle and bustle of New York. I guess New York is actually one of the places that I've always wanted to visit. I've never visited New York, but um, hopefully someday. Hopefully someday. I, I definitely want to see like you know mainly the uh, Nintendo um, Nintendo World Center for sure. It's one of my dream places that I've always wanted to go to. But we got first place, easy money. Got a little bit of experience for um, for the cart and the glider. The EXP bar will increase depending on the CC and your race position. Once the bar fills, you will receive more position points in races. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, nice new record. And I already got the grand stars, um, which I believe are used to. It's used to you know unlock more things, unlock more um, more things within the game. But I'm actually going to do um, a new course that I'm playing for the first time now. So from here on out, this is brand new gameplay. I'm actually going to play as Peach this time, because why not? And we're going to do 100cc. Um, so we're going to go ahead and rock out with that. And I'm, I guess maybe after this race, we'll unlock 150cc. But Alright, 3DS Cheap Cheap Lagoon. This game looks really good, though. It looks very, very good. Like, mobile devices have all... Th there's two Bowsers. I just realized that. What the... Okay, anyways. Well. But yeah, um, mobile devices, like, like smartphones, are really capable of, like, you know, having some really, really uh, good-looking games. And this one is no exception. Like, it's... Like, the quality is, like, sort of like a middle ground between Mario Kart 7 and 8. Alright, Underwater. Oh wow. Oh. My phone's low. Okay. I'll charge it later. I should be good. Okay, let's see. Ah, messed up. I hit tilt somehow. He hit a crab? Okay. Cheap, Cheap Lagoon has always been like, it's been a pretty okay track, but it's like, it was in the Mushroom Cup in Mario Kart 7 originally, so it's like one of like, it's like one of the, um, you know, the sort of beginner tracks in the game, so... Alright, let me see if I can nail this one. You got it, I think. Nice. Sweet. It's, like, the controls still feel kind of weird. A little bit. Nice. Oh, I got an excellent combo. And, alright, another first place. Cool. Okay, Mario Circuit 1. Nice. I'm pretty sure that this was in Mario Kart 7, too. And I like how, like, for the starting tunes and everything, like, it's still original. Like, still original composition, which is cool. Alright. Go! Alright. Alright. Oh my gosh! That Bowser Shell scared me. Alright, get out of here, Peachette. You know, speaking of Peachette... Bowsette? It, it shouldn't really even be called Bowsette. It should be called, um... Well, I mean, because, like... The thing about Peachette, it's a combination of Peach and Toadette. But Toadette picks up the Super Crown. So if it's combined with... I mean, like, if Peach picks up the Super Crown, which she can't, it's a combination of Peach and Bowser. So, so it should really be, like... Like, Peacher or... Bouch or something, I don't know. 
But it shouldn't be called Peach Egg, because, like, Peach is the one that's picking it up. But, I don't know. Anyways, I'm not a big... The Bowser's Head thing was kind of... kind of crazy. Kind of... interesting. Got one more. Oh, it's just it's just a, the Rocket Star tutorial. I, I, I actually saw this. Um, it's like all you do is just do a Rocket Star. Yeah, I already know how to do a Rocket Star. I've, I've been doing it in the other races game. Nice. Yeah, that's literally it. Nice. Yay, you finished the cup. You can replay races to try and beat your own scores. Awesome. So now we can go to the DK Cup. Oh, good work clearing your first cup. Have some rupees to celebrate. 20 rupees. Woo! Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. You can get things like drivers and carts from the pipe. Say, why don't you use some rupees to fire something out of it? Why not? Why not? We'll, we'll fire. We'll fire it off. Use, let's use rupees to fire something from the pipe. Why not? Okay. All right, here we go, firing once again. Ugh, I already got the super glider. Duplicates have emerged to enhance the skill level. Okay, so if you get a duplicate of something you already have, it'll just level up. All right, I want to fire one more. Keep on racing, and soon you'll conquer every cup. I know I will. Uh, oh, it's a login bonus. Nice. Get these from races or coin rush to use in the shop. All right, cool. Alright, so I guess this is just the the rewards I can get. It's either 100 coins or 5 rubies. Alright. Let's see the driver collection. Oh, look at all these characters. So there's a total of 20 playable characters. So, so far. So Luigi really isn't in this game. Wow, they actually... I mean, I'm sure that other characters will come in, like in updates and stuff, but... Damn, that's crazy. You can get drivers, carts, and gliders and more from the shop. The daily selects change daily, but I bet you could have figured that one out on your own. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So I'm not going to buy anything with, with real money, forget that. Um, yeah, I don't need to do any of that. Um, oh, I can actually buy stuff. Oh, I see. Ah, I see, I see. And this gets unlocked a lot when your player level, when your player level increases. I see. I'll fire off one more time. Just to see what, what I can get. Alright. Here we go. Oh, the Flower Glider. Yeah, that was in Mario Kart 7, I believe. Further increases your chances of getting a banana. Using one will get you more points. Sweet. Okay, cool. Alright, those are all the rubies I'm going to fire for now. Alright, let's go to the Donkey Kong Cup. Dino Dino Jungle. Alright. This totally... Do do care to make like a little celebration whenever you do like a really good rocket start? I assume so. Oh, no way! I, no way! I can avoid that. That's interesting that they have these little pop ups like "ouch" whenever you get hit by an item. Boom, 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 boom. All right. No, no, get on. All right. Go, gwee gwee, gwee gwee. Now I think that you can actually like hop off the guys, they don't spin you out in this game. Can you- oh my gosh. I saw the polygons inside the Bowser shell, that scared me. Oh my gosh. Is it- can you not fall off the track? I'm still- I'm still trying to get used to the controls though. I'm in fifth place, I gotta catch up. Oh, there is a boost panel uh, in the original version of this, I think. Down here. They yeah, got a red shell. What the heck was that? No, I'm only in third place. What the heck? I'm getting hit by random stuff. Oh, Diddy Kong has the banana cannon, probably. Ugh, the controls still feel weird to me. I gotta, I, I gotta get used to it, but I'm definitely sticking with manual drift, though. Get out of my way. Oh my gosh, I'm not turning that way. Alright, third place. We're gonna have to settle for that. Not too shabby. No, wait. I just wanna look back. Why is it drifting like that? I just wanna look back. 
Oh. Nice. Got super porn just in time. By the way, the pitch of the music's different, um, in this version. Yeah, this was never in Mario Kart 7, like, the music. Alright, easy money. Okay, I was about to say, I better not lose because of that. Nice. What's next? Rock Rock Mountain? Sweet. Yeah, this game still looks really, really good. I think it's definitely set up for Mario Kart 7's visuals. Really is a good looking game. Alright. First time playing on this. I haven't really seen much gameplay of Rock Rock Mountain in this. Didn't mean to drop the item. Oh, this is smaller! The the ramp is smaller, and in, in Mario Kart 7 it was wider. Oh, blooper. Oh, nice! You actually can wipe it off the screen. That's cool. Get out of the way, Bowser. Alright, got some boost panels. Nice. Yeah. If you don't know, uh, boost panel boost panels will automatically get rid of the uh, blooper ink. I think that it's impossible to fall off the track, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Alright. Boost in the air. No. What the heck? Seriously, my boost. No. Is this how it ends? Oh no. Fifth place. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be fifth. No. Still got a good tune. No, no celebration from Toad, but... Alright. Oh, Ring Race. Okay, so it seems like it's gonna be, like, three actual courses and then a, then a challenge. Alright, we got DK, Donkey Kong. DK, Donkey Kong. Clear five rings. Alright. DK's model looks pretty good. It has the same sound effect as, um, Rainbow Road Rings. That's it? Okay, well, we did it. We pretty much did it, but whatever. Oh, the dab. The DK dab. Sweet. Alright, DK. Bane that chest. Alright. Sweet. Alright, we got the maximum amount of grand stars. Alright, we did it. What do we got? Yoshi Cup. Yoshi Circuit. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. Dun 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 Oh, I should have saved it for the shortcut. What's that woo 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 sound? Oh, that's the mushroom cannon, I think, or something. I don't even know. This is such a catchy tune. Oh, Spiny Show. Uh... All right, I think I'm I have a decent lead, so. I hate it whenever I press it like that. It turns sometimes like it drifts. Alright. I don't think you could stop the item roulette by tapping the screen. Yeah, I'll just save the super horn. Because who knows, maybe it's fine. Show up with me last minute. 
Let me be a spy show for me last time. Oh, what did I say earlier? What did I say earlier? I said a spy show might, might come at the last minute, and lo and behold, it did. Alright, level 3. Oh, yay, 150cc is unlocked. Sweet. Alright, Daisy Hills, from also from 3DS. 150cc is now available. Keep the pedal to the metal. Opponents are even tougher in this mode. Alright, time for 150cc, baby. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Man, I haven't played Mario Kart 7 in a good while, but this brings back a lot of elements from that game. Oh, nice block. Get away from me! Alright. Uh, poor, poor cow. I'm pretty sure that... Or, or was that a sheep? The battle shell hit the sheep, I think. Ah, oh, still feels weird. That glider fan looks big. Alright. Alright. Oh. oh no, it hit me! Oh my gosh. I guess I can kind of see why they did two less, because there's so much um, content within the game itself. Oh wow, I didn't even like hop off the log and I still did like, a jump boost. Oh, seriously? Those scare me every time, because I see like the polygons inside of it. Alright, I'm going to drop the bomb here. Oh, the bomb should have blocked it! No! Seriously? The bomb should have totally blocked it. <laughs> no, I hit my own banana! Oh, this is not going well. It went perfectly fine before. No! I should have just held on to the bomb. To, to the bomb. Dang, man. I should have just held on to the to the bomb. Alright, fourth place. Not too shabby, though. Man, that should have been first place for sure. Alright, we're gonna finish out the Yoshi Cup and then I think I'll end off the video. Oh, Chichi Lagoon again? Is this a challenge? Why is it here again? That's interesting. Back to 3DS Chichi Lagoon? Uh, I mean, that's weird because this showed up in the Mario Cup earlier. Oh, I missed my rocket boost because I was looking at my, uh, my recording, my recording stuff. Here. Oh, seriously? Oh, whatever. No, I'm not drifting. Every time I press the, the the turn around button, it drifts. I don't like that. Like I'm not drifting. I'm just no. See, I'm just tapping on it, and it like always turns me around. You have to be really delicate with it, otherwise it's gonna think that you're gonna drift. All right. Alright, sweet. <laughs> Alright, first place. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is the first time we won in 150cc. I should have won on Daisy Hills earlier, but, you know, B has happened. I mean, that bomb should have blocked that, that, that shell, man. It really should have. Well, it is, it is what it is. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Alright, what we got for the last thing? Do jump boosts. Oh, that's it. Oh, nice! I can might as well claim these gifts, I guess. Alright, we got five rupees. Koopa Troopa is now unlocked. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go and do this final challenge. Or, not final challenge of the game, but challenge for this video. Oh. Alright. Alright, so you so you will do jump boost if you hit the geyser. Alright. I will go off here for the logs. Oh, they actually put the logs in sort of in the center as well, so you can do jump boost easier. I mean, it is kind of nice that jump boosts are done automatically, but at the same time, it is like more satisfying whenever like you do them yourself. But the controls are just so different for for the game. 
Man, I had a lot of air time. Alright. 13 jump boosts. Alright, sweet. Go, Yoshi. Oh, wow. I was one above, uh, one above 12. Alright, sweet. I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, alright. Finish the Yoshi Cup. Alright, sweet. The Ranked Cup is now open. It'll pick you against racers from around the world based on total cup points. Now, keep in mind, this still doesn't have multiplayer. I think it's just based on data from other, from other, um, I guess, racers. Like, not, you don't actually race against them, but I guess it's from, you know, other people that, I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. You don't r actually race against them, but that's probably coming soon. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I mean, so far, I mean, I guess that Mario Kart Tour, I mean, it's pretty fun. I still have to get used to the controls still. Um, but I'm having fun. It's, 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 it's a decent time. Like, it, it, obviously, it doesn't really replace any mainland Mario Kart titles. Um, but, you know, it's still, it's still nice for a mobile Mario Kart game. Um, there's definitely some improvements that could be made, like the controls. I feel that the drifting is still kind of off. You should be able to have a soft swipe for a turn and then a hard swipe for a drift. I think that's something should be addressed about that. Um, so there's like a little, it's mainly just the controls that I still have to kind of get used to a little bit, but, you know, it's still pretty fun. But, uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, and I made your day a little bit better, uh, consider subscribing to the channel for more on Mario Kart Tour, uh, Nintendo Gaming, and more. Like and share the video to let me know that I'm doing a good job with the content, and ring the bell for weekly uploads. Um, and be sure to follow me on social media, such as Twitter for updates, news, and other topics, Instagram for fun pictures and more, and Twitch for live streams. And with that, that's going to do it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll probably do some more Mario Kart Tour uh, content down the line. If there's anything special that pops up, I'll be sure to cover it. Uh, and a review should be coming later as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it as always. Take care, have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.